Hi, it's Eli. Welcome back to the channel. This is my second time filming this video. I originally filmed this video last weekend after I finished my 21 miler, but I looked so crusty and I filmed it at a bad angle and I was just rambling. So we're just gonna have a quick little reshoot here and it won't even cost like 20 billion dollars or whatever like it does for the big movies i'm pretty tired i finished a long run this morning not as long as 21 miles but i washed my hair it's really hot out my dorm doesn't have air conditioning also i'm at my desk um this is qui-gon and ahsoka they're star wars characters and there are k-pop posters back here and yeah this is my desk so my outdoor track season ended on may 13th outdoor track season started over spring break that was our first week of outdoor training so yeah that was the beginning and then our first meet was our first week back it was originally scheduled for april 1st but due to weather weather at that point meaning really it was really cold out they moved it to sunday april 2nd and it ended up being around 35 then too but it wasn't 20 degrees like it was the day before that was the wisconsin private college championships i ran my first track 10k that is 25 laps and i got a 51 14 which is about an 8 15 pace per mile. I was originally happy with that just as something to feel out what a, a 10k on a track is like because I had never run on a track until indoor season and so this is my first time running on a, an outdoor 400 meter track. It was pretty fun though the whole team came out to support me and so that felt really nice but it was it was a pretty okay way to start off the season. I ended up getting fifth overall in that race too so that was pretty fun. Originally we were supposed to go to the St. Norbert Easter Invitational after that on April 6th but it was supposed to be really cold and it was going to be four days after the race we just did so my coach decided to pull us out of that and instead we went to the Beloit Relays in Beloit, Wisconsin on April 15th which is a Saturday. We had just had this 35 degree beautiful weather. We get to the Beloit Relays and it is 85 and disgusting and hot and sunny and gross. But don't worry, we still managed to have a lightning delay right in the middle. It rained and thundered and lightninged for about 30 minutes and then it got right back up to 85 degrees again, which was so fun. I was racing the 5k. I did not run the 5k well. I got a 24.35, which is nowhere near my best. Um, we will say that. I'm really bad with heat. Like you can go as cold as you want, freezing, zero degrees, whatever. I have a really, really hard time in the heat. So that was not my finest race. I did manage to get fourth place though because everybody else either dropped out or completely faded because it was so hot so on april 21st we had the saint norbert friday night duel and i ran the 5k now that day was very very busy for me i had a meet and then i had to leave early to go straight to my choir concert i actually ended up getting a 2254 which is a new college pr for me i have a high school pr that's about 35 seconds faster and i was really happy with it there were only like four people in the race so i was basically running in no man's land the entire time i had a great race and a great choir concert afterwards which was funny because at the rehearsal the night before everybody was like this is not going to go well but the concert actually went pretty well saturday the 29th of april we were back at saint norbert for the saint norbert invitational i ran the 5k and i got 23 14. that wasn't what i was hoping for my middle mile was 20 seconds slower than my other two miles so if that middle mile had been the same pace then i would have been on track to pr so i was a little pissy about that it was cold but it was really, really rainy, and so my anemia was acting up pretty bad. My lips got, like, really blue. On Saturday, May 6th, we went to Ripon for the Ripon Spring Showdown. I had competed at Ripon a lot during indoor track, but obviously I've never seen their outdoor track. Spoiler, it's not red. I thought it would be red. 
it was six days before conference, so coach was running everybody really light and sort of just treating the whole thing like a workout. I was supposed to run the 1500 and the 4x4. I am not a big fan of short distance, and I was not really happy with how my 1500 went. I got a 618. My mile PR in high school was a 620. So, you know, I wasn't really super happy with that, but I did it, and then coach ended up scratching my 4x4 so i didn't have to do it yay i respect the sprinters very much because i could never do what they do please let me have my 10k midwest conference outdoor track championships were held in grinnell iowa at grinnell college which is about a seven hour drive from my college campus so we ended up going up thursday afternoon and then competition was on friday and saturday and then we drove back saturday and got home pretty late i ran the 10k and only the 10k slay that was so good for me it was the first event of the championships and originally it was supposed to be at 2 p.m but it got moved up to 9 a.m before all of the events started because it was really hot. It was about mid 70s, super humid, um, which doesn't sound too terrible until you're trying to run really fast for a 10K on a track. And yeah, it starts getting a little, a little difficult, we'll say. Yeah, a lot of my teammates ended up having to be rolled away by the paramedics. So I am happy that I finished. I finished in 50.07. I was very disappointed that I didn't break 50, but back looking back on it now i'm perfectly happy with a pr of over a minute so it was super fun and i loved traveling with the team and staying in a hotel and yeah it was just super fun and i had a really good time and a lot of people got prs so that was nice that was the end of the racing season okay so before every season starts coach has us write a note card which has on one side our goals for the season and on the other side how we're going to achieve those goals so i thought it'd be fun to take a look at my note card and talk about whether or not i achieved my goals for the season i have my note card right here mine is purple we keep a copy for ourselves and then give a copy to our event coach so my first goal was to have my 10k time be under 50 minutes which obviously i didn't do 50.07 my second one was to compete during my races and beat people and score points which i did like half the time it's not that i didn't compete it's just a lot of the races all the times were very spread out so it was sort of hard to compete when everybody was sort of in their own little no man's land i'll give myself half points for that and my last one is to be proud of my races and workouts even if they didn't go as planned and that's the one i struggled with the most i'm gonna give myself half points for that too because i really did try i wasn't always super happy after my races i wasn't always proud of my work but I think now looking back at the end of season, I definitely can see how much work I've put in. So the things that I said that I was gonna do to achieve those goals, let's just go through them. Sleep at least five hours every night. Next question, eat breakfast every day. Next question, drink three to four of my purple water bottles every day, which I did. I'm generally very good with hydration. I just sort of put that on there as an easy one. Stay positive, find the little wins and improvements. I'll give myself half points for that because I think I did that most of the time, but sometimes I did get kind of down on myself and, and being like, oh, you know, this workout sucked or this week of training just sucked. And my last one was to pick up the pace on my long runs. Again, I'm going to give myself partial credit because I did for a lot of them, but then some of them kind of crashed and burned. So overall, I'd say I sort of got my goals. I'm, I'm okay with that. You know, there's always next season and the season after that. I will keep improving and keep setting new goals. And so I have no doubt that I'm going to come back to outdoor season next year and my first 10K is going to be under 49. I think this first year of college running was just sort of a transition period for me. And it was, it was kind of hard to get used to um, a new schedule of running and, and what have you. So I am proud of the work that I did this season and this year and I can't wait for cross country. Ah, not that I don't love outdoor track. I don't love outdoor track. I'm really not a track person. I'm so excited for cross country. So yay. Happy end of the outdoor track season to everyone, whether you achieved your goals or not. I'm proud of you. You should be proud of yourself. 
because we all worked hard. Take a couple of days off, make sure you're not getting injured. It's you for cross country, my distance people. It's gonna be a wild ride. I forgot to film an outro yesterday, so yeah. This video was filmed at a bad angle and whatever. Hope you enjoyed anyways. Okay, love you, bye. <laughs>